I arrived in Ireland um, around five years ago now and um, I'm very open-mindedly uh, as to what role I wanted to, to take on. It certainly wasn't a career move at the time. Um, I was quite prepared to stack shelves because I was looking after my grandparents and it was only a short-term thing, in, it, it, although there was no there was no plan on, on, on going back. It was only, in my head, I kind of think in six months. Um, and I saw an advertisement in the, um, the Southern Star, which is a local paper down in Skibbereen, for a sales rep role. It was, it was nondescript. It was just um, a sales rep that'd be out on the road and working in the West Cork area. So I, um, I applied and it turned out to be a CPM advert. Now, um, it was very much a two-way street when I got called for the, pre the pre preliminary, preliminary in interview because I didn't know much about the role, I didn't know much about sales, So, but I, I was also there to sell myself as well. So um, the interview went really well and I actually came out of that interview more excited um, th than I went in because I found out more about the role, I found out more about the sales themselves and, uh, and was very excited and was anxious to get a second interview and fortunately I did. That went well, um, and I was lucky that CPM gave me a chance with no sales experience and to, to take on a role. And I was a field sales rep for the Aircom account, so I was um, in, I was winning customers back from uh, competitors to Aircom in the West Cork and Cork area. I've had the bonus of working for both, um, working for an outsourced company um, like CPM, and then working for Aircom directly afterwards. So I really enjoyed working for CPM. It was. Um, it was enjoyable. I think what stand out for me um, and what's been beneficial for me is the fact because it's an outsourced company, the, 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 there was rapid promotions. So any good performance got noted, the commissions were good and you got moved up the ranks a lot quicker. I learned how to sell uh, when I took my first role on, um, selling, for, selling for Aircon with CPM and uh, the, the, them skills stay with me. Um, you know, uh, my natural personality lent itself to sales. There was no doubt about that, but the core basics were, were installed at a, at a very early early stage in CPM, and you still use them now. I mean, it's you you learn and progress as you go along within sales, but you still need to use the core basics. You need to go back to basics on a regular basis, uh, and keep adding to them and adding to them and adding to them. So, so the training I got and the skills that I learned initially um, with CPM are still I still use on a daily basis now. Um, if I was going to offer anybody advice on getting into sales, would be would pick the right job and pick the right role initially, because you know um, you, you could get put into in, you could get put into a company where you, you're the you're the one person out selling the whole time, and there's no room for promotion, there's no room for for moving on. So if you get in with the right company, I was lucky at the time to get in with the Aircom account because I knew there was progression there. At the interview stage, there was talk of progression, you know. So if it spoke about at the very beginning, you know that that if you do perform well, you're going to get rewarded for it so if you get the company right um, that does have a good training program and gives you the chance to progress then you'll then you'll be fine you know if you go out there and pick the wrong job where there's no room for progression and there's no training program with it well you might be still stuck in the same cycle two or three years later even if you are good so know know the company that you're going to be working for and know that you're going to get rewarded for good work